We are wrapping up day four of the Georgia Tech summer tour. We traveled almost 600 miles across the state of Georgia and uh, Georgia Tech president, Dr. Bud Peterson is joining us now. Uh, Dr. Peterson, tell us a little bit about why it's so important to take the time to travel across the state. When Val and I first came to Georgia seven years ago, we uh, didn't know very much about the state of Georgia and uh, wanted to learn more. So we started this state tour and we've done it every year since then. It really gives us an opportunity to travel around the state to meet the people of the great state of Georgia, to learn a lot more about what they need and how we can better serve them, the businesses in their communities, uh, and just what can Georgia Tech do to help Georgia. So part of this is about uh, connecting with industry and economic partners, but another part is uh, meeting with alumni across, across the state as well. So it's really a lot more than just alumni. It's the parents of current students and former students. It's parents and, and prospective students. So we've really got a whole host of different types of people that come to these events to learn more about Georgia Tech. So uh, we talk a lot about economic impact and, and the footprint that Georgia Tech leaves. So uh, a big part of this is making those connections with, with those economic partners and, and probably a big part of why we do this summer tour as well. Sure. One of the things that we're really focused on, as you well know, is economic development. So we're talking uh, and visiting these communities to help them learn more about the expertise, the research that's going on at Georgia Tech, so that they can bring some of that into their own communities and the businesses there can benefit from some of the things that are going on in Atlanta. We've got partnerships with businesses all across the state. Our Advanced Technology Development Center works with over 500 companies across the state of Georgia, and we continue to interact with them. And having those companies and representatives from those companies come and visit us, and for us to go and visit some of those companies, companies that we can work with, companies we have worked with, with different communities, uh, and it's just been a great event for us. Were there a couple of moments of this year's tour that stand out to you as like, this is, this is, I'm glad that we did this? Probably one of the most memorable parts of the trip is to see some prospective students. We've got some young people that are thinking about coming to Georgia Tech. Sometimes they're as young as six or seven years old. Sometimes they're rising seniors and they're thinking about Georgia Tech and it's great to meet those prospective students. We ended here in Douglasville. Uh, Casey Bethel, a Georgia Teacher of the Year, has actually participated for the past six years in a summer program at Georgia Tech called the GIFT program where we bring high school teachers in in the STEM areas and work with them. They work with industry and it's just a great great program at Georgia Tech and a lot of people don't realize that we're working with K through 12 teachers and K through 12 students. This summer we have over 75 programs for K through 12 uh, young people. They focus on middle school kids, 6th, 7th, 8th grade because that's when they really have to make a decision about where uh, or what they want to study. Do they want to go in STEM fields? Do they want to get in the advanced math track? And we try to help them understand that science and engineering and computing can all be fun. Dr. Peterson, thank you so much. That's a wrap on the 2016 Georgia Tech Summer Tour. Now, our staff and our team here at Georgia Tech will begin planning for next year's Summer Tour, uh, so you'll see us on the road then. Uh, for more news and updates from Georgia Tech, log on to www.gatech.edu.